Hi, my name is Cassie Mothwin, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Tabletop RPG Collection database that I created for Notion. Hopefully you can customize this for your needs, and this tutorial will give you a taste of how to do that. Once you are ready to duplicate this, you need to be logged in or make an account. And then up here in the upper right, you're going to find a duplicate button, and that's where you can get started and it'll automatically pull everything in. All right, so a quick tour of what this is. If you're not familiar with Notion, um, I would first go make an account and get a little familiar with the system. It has a little bit of a learning curve, but don't let that dissuade you from trying it out. It took me a little bit to get into it, but now that I have, I'm kind of uh, obsessed. So what we're looking at here is a very small database that I've set up. So when you duplicate this, if you decide to, this is exactly what you're going to get aside from what we're going to add together. So you can see how to set this up. But essentially, this is how I like my tabletop RPGs organized by like how many people can play them, if they are run by a GM or if they're GMless or if they have options for that. Obviously what it's called, if I've read it or if I've played it, kind of what genre it fits in, which genre for tabletop RPGs I quickly realized is very difficult. So I also started adding systems in here and words that might not usually be associated with the genre. So feel free to play around with that. Links to where I can find it. So if I were to click on this, it would take me to the link. If it was made by a person of color, because making sure that I have a diverse range in my library is important to me. Time to play, that's also important to me. Not all games include that, but the ones that do, I will be plugging that in here because I think that's a great way to find games, especially last minute, if I own it, and then whether or not I own a physical copy of it. And then finally, the last item in this list is just a summary. I usually pull this off the itch page or the store page or whatever, just like a, a couple sentences about the thing. What's great about this is I also have other views. So this should just only be showing games that are marked solo. So I'll be going here, clicking filter, then going to type because that's how I have these and then clicking solo. And so that should save for everyone. There we go. So I'll do that one more time. So this is uh, GM plus players. So I'll go to filter, type, and then GM plus players. And you shouldn't need to worry about this. It should already be done. However, if you wanna add more or if you wanna add additional databases, that's how you would do it. So here's here are all of the views that I have set up. Again, that just pulls from this massive list here. How do you add something new? It's honestly so easy. So first, I find it easier you can add a row if you want to. Uh, I like to go and click on this open button that will automatically appear. You can't click the, the type thing. You have to like click out and then click on this open button. And so this is where you'll have everything that you need to plug in. So what we're gonna plug in is a supplement I wrote for 5e called What Crooked Roots. Since it's a supplement, I'm gonna be using, I've been using these dice icons. You can use whatever icons you want to, that makes you happy. This is how you get the icon in front of the name and the list. I don't know, I want a tree. <laughs> Let's go with the green tree because this is a faux core collection. Uh, so I type in the title, status. I have played through my entire collection. So I'm gonna mark it as played. I'm gonna put my name. So I'm the author, publisher. I like putting indie here if they don't have a publishing house, if it's just a person. My release date, maybe this isn't important to you. I'm trying to decide if it's important or not to me. Feel free to delete this section if it's not important to you, but my supplement came out November 16th. A link, uh, uh, here's a link. Throw that in right there so I can find it. A summary, I'll just grab the line that's right there. Throw that in the summary. Genre, well, it's definitely horror. Uh, I'll also create a new folk horror. And then I'll also, uh, what else do we want? It's not very combat. Uh, let's go with travel. There's a lot of travel in it. So it's not made by a person of color. It is a supplement for the sake of legalese. I will go with 5e. I own it both digitally and physically. Time to play. It's a bunch of encounters, so I'm just gonna put berries. One thing you'll also wanna do is grab the cover of whatever you have and just copy, copy and paste it into this section here. That's literally all I did. I just right clicked, clicked on the cover, right clicked, copy image, pasted it here. That's my page about that. And that automatically populates into this database. Now, if I go to supplements, there we go. Uh, so there is my nice cover. Uh, if you want it to look nicer, you can also have it not fit. 
So that looks good. I hope this was helpful. Good luck. Have fun.